I'd like to introduce myself. Uh, my name is Jay Masella, and I'm the senior channel manager for Brizo. So we are really excited. We think that uh, we're going to have a very engaging discussion, and um, hope that you enjoy it. I'm going to start by talking about how the kitchen has changed and how it continues to change as we move forward, and how changing lifestyles are affecting the kitchen design. Our kitchen really is part of our living room. And I think what people are looking for is solution-based design. I think the key really is, though, is the multitasking that, that we all do. And, and I think our kitchens need to multitask as well. For us, obviously, the sink area, you know, is incredible. Look at all the advancements that have happened there. It's got integrated cutting boards. Uh, you've got the, you know, chopping blocks. Your knives are integrated into that. You're hidden away. There is, uh, you know, the integrated strainers, the graters, the, the colanders. Everything is all about the food prep and the cleaning in that area. It's all about the efficiency of that space and, and even storage, you know, that just all the stuff that you can do, pull out drawer refrigerators, you know, under counter microwaves, it's just all these different uses that designers are figuring out different ways of doing things. What trends in fashion do you see as having the potential to impact the future of kitchen design? Fashion and kitchen design may seem like two separate worlds. I, I think as design people in general, we have a lot in common. And, uh, you know, usually so much of what I do is informed by everything else but fashion. And I think in inevitably fashion ends up influencing on other design industries such as uh, kitchen and bath design. So I think, you know, definitely there's a synergy there. There's a trend towards less visual clutter. It doesn't mean, I'm not talking about sterile environments, but you know, just warming. You can still use finishes and textures. The big word in fashion this season is minimalism. So you know, what to, to Judd, what Judd was saying, it was definitely space is precious and we want to make sure that we make most use of everything. You know, I want every little piece to say something about my design aesthetic. It's really about, you're still trying, you are trying to bring your own personality into the space. Yeah. Color and texture. Well, that's all we do in so many ways is to create exciting colors, textures, and how do we make it twist and pleat it so it looks, you know, great on the body. But, you know, it's about, it's, it's very visual. Now, Jason, do you see parallels between how fashion is changing and how home design is changing? I think it's spontaneous sometimes, and sometimes, you know, it's all about creating an idea and creating a world. I always say that, you know, what we show on the runway is really to give out ideas. You know, it's, it's not, it may not be, always be practical, but it's about making a statement. It has to be creative, and we have to push the envelope. Sometimes we'll, we may show a dress that's so big that we couldn't even fit it down the runway and, you know, embroidered in 10 different ways. And we'll just take a little piece of that embroidery and and put it on a t-shirt that's more wearable. And in that way, we do that, we could do that with product design as well. So it's about taking a little slice of that and integrating that into daily design. I think for, from a designer's perspective, there needs to be a little more pushing the envelope, a little more challenging the status quo. And I think that's maybe why Brizo has come up with some of the, the innovative things that they've come up with because it's, it's pushing that envelope a little bit. It's that solution-driven design mm -hmm. uh, idea. That's the solution we're all trying to reach, is to make things that are functional but beautiful as well. 